We've seen the high-speed chases, vehicles running lights, jumping curbs and medians with little to no regard for the safety of others on the road. They end with a suspected bad guy in cuffs, and tragically, it can end with the loss of life of the innocent. What if there's a way to eliminate police high-speed pursuits? Well, more and more agencies across the country believe there is, using the newest anti-pursuit technology called Star Chase. Palm Beach Police is one of them. When we start talking about violent crimes, obviously we will pursue because we want to stop the threat to additional uh, people and or society. But when we start talking about property, uh, we can't justify the actual pursuit or continued pursuit for a stolen vehicle or jewelry. Eventually all Palm Beach police cruisers will be outfitted with it. The technology is pretty simple. A projectile launched from the cruiser. Simply put, cars shooting cars. Once upon finding the vehicle, he would hit arm. It would start pressurizing, it would also start looking for the GPS satellites. Once it finds those 15 to 20 seconds uh, upon activation, he would then be able to press fire. And effective it is. Of all the departments that use Star Chase, 100% of the vehicles have been recovered. 80% of the suspects have been arrested. The key is inside this is a chip, GPS chip. So once it's on the car, Officers, all they have to do is back off and let communications take over. Communication supervisor will pick it up on a screen, Google Earth, and she can see it going. In the communications room, text tracking the suspect can give all officers exact locations, turn by turn, sort of a virtual police chase. Sergeant Melanchok demonstrated on a stopped vehicle and moving through Palm Beach streets. Star Chase is efficient at slow and moderate speeds, and between 80 and 100 miles per hour, it can become less effective. But with technology always improving, the sergeant thinks in time, all law enforcement agencies will use this or something similar, ultimately eliminating danger to the public and possibly saving lives. In Palm Beach, Keith Jones, NBC6 News.